joined once again by Cal Swartz, who's going to be returning to the Invicta Cage on March 23rd. She's going to be taking on Kay Hansen. Cal, how are you today? I'm doing really good today. Awesome. That's good to hear. Any particular reason or just because it's Saturday? Well, I am actually, I'm on wait um, a day early. So I start my my water cut tomorrow. Okay. And uh, I'm actually a pound under, which is exciting. I'm going to have some popcorn later. (laughs) <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, no, that, that's awesome. Any particular reason why uh, the cut's going so well? Have you done anything different? You know what? I'm not really really sure why because the last um, the last week and a half I've been stuck at um, stuck at a certain weight, and I was kind of like, oh no, I'm going to have to sweat a couple extra pounds. And then in the last two days, it just went boom, boom, and and I was like, oh, that's nice. So um, my diet has been a little bit different this time. I um, a little bit more uh, plant based, and uh, I'm not. I didn't cut out so many carbs this time. So okay, so a bit of a mix, just more veggies and, and adding some more carbs in there, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. That's interesting. Uh, it's been a while since we've uh, seen you in the cage. Uh, you haven't fought uh, since that fight at Invicta FC 22. What's sort of been the reason for the layoff? Well, um, it has been a very long year. Um, after I fought last March, um, I was in Oregon. Before I had that fight, I knew that I was going to be leaving Oregon and coming coming down to Southern California. So, but I had to stay there because I was still in college. Right. Um, that was my, my last term in college. So I ended up graduating in June nice. with my bachelor's degree. So that was something that I had to kind of wait on. And then when I by the time I moved down here, it was probably um, early July, I think it was. And then. I mean, the whole summer I basically spent um, with Alliance, and they just they kind of just tore me apart. They had to rebuild me um, in their image, and it was a pretty tough summer. But um, by the time I was ready to start taking fights, I had you know two or three fights fall through like in a row. So um, that was pretty discouraging. But um, I kept up with it, kept training, and then um, and then here we are. Finally, um, Invicta had room for me on their card, and. And it's go time. That's great. What would you say you've improved on the most uh, since the last time we saw you? Um, it's hard to say, um, but I would I would definitely say my striking has. Um, I've been working with Adrian um, at Alliance and probably two or three times a week just with him individually, and it it has uh, my striking has improved tenfold. And then um, my ground game as well. My wrestling's always been there, but. Um, as far as alliances, I mean, they're a big wrestling um, training camp, but they're they're able to take a solid wrestler and and kind of smooth over the jujitsu, the technique, and kind of flow it um, appropriately for somebody with with my kind of base. So um, definitely, my jujitsu has improved as well. Awesome. Um, talk about your last fight. I know things didn't go your way in that one, but like you said, you're a new fighter now. Just looking back on that fight, what would you say you sort of learned the most from that performance? Um, definitely, I think the biggest thing I learned from that fight is that um, you have you have to slow down and take your time and not rush things. And I'm and I don't mean just in the fight. Um, that's that's crucial and stick to your game plan. But um, I was so so wound up in this idea that I was going to be moving in June and I had to get a fight in before I moved or else I wouldn't be fighting for six to eight months, which in the long run, I took that fight. I lost. And then I still didn't fight for a whole entire year. So, um, the big takeaway for that was, um, listen, listen to your mentality, listen to your emotions, listen to your body, and then don't take on too much. Um, at one time I had a lot, I was trying to graduate college, you know, I was going through a breakup. Um, you know, just just in general, I had a lot of stuff going on, and I I remember my manager talking to me. I mean, he called like once or twice a week in camp, and he's like, "Are you sure you're doing okay?" And I'm like, "I'm fine, I'm fine." And I think really in the back of my head, I'm like, "I'll just suck it up, and I'm gonna make this work." And and um, and it was it was such a big lesson, and I really appreciate that lesson um, because I appreciate fighting more, and I appreciate um, training more. Right. Okay, that's great. I'm glad you're sort of able to take uh, all the positives out of it, which is excellent. Now let's talk about your opponent, Kay Hansen. She's got the one and zero record. How do you feel like you match up against her? I think it's a pretty good matchup. I think she's a tough girl. I think she's young, um, uh, pretty green, you know. But I was pretty green too when I came into Invicta, and um, they didn't give me an easy fight. So um, I'm excited. I think I think in general um, we're we're both going to be pretty tough. 
and um, I think that's what the fans like to see. I think there's going to be blood. I think I think it's going to be nitty gritty, and uh, I'd like to go back to my kind of older style of of fighting. Like um, I think a lot of fighters, professional fighters, can relate. As an amateur, um, I don't know. You just you're not so caught up in your um, your record. And now that I have a loss, it's it's kind of like I know I know how it feels to lose. It's not the end of the world. Um, but as an amateur, you just you're kind of a little bit more free. You're just more excited and just want to get get in there and and you know throw down. So I kind of want to try to find that that part of me that I think I lost kind of along the way. You have a lot of really good uh, training partners at Alliance. I'm sure uh, we've seen you know the the people that go through that gym. Uh, who've been some of your main training partners for this camp? Uh, well, there there's a there's a pretty big group of of women um, at Alliance right now and it's so exciting because um like for instance Kat Zingano she's one of the reasons why why I started fighting when I watched her um beat Misha Tate and I was so mesmerized I was like oh that's so rad you know just blood everywhere and just beating the crap out of out of Tate against the cage and um we got um Paulina Firefox we got um Angie Hill we got Lauren Mueller Jessica Penye just started um, coming back. She's been coaching a lot, too. She's helped me quite a bit with um, jiu-jitsu. She's incredible. Um, and it's it's so amazing because my wrestling base is so heavy and forward, and it goes right into her jiu-jitsu. So she's been able to really really um, iron that out for me. That's awesome. Um, but those, you know, plus all the, the, the guys out there. Um, Dom Cruz comes in, and, and we were actually laughing about it the other day. He put us through a... Um, a little wrestling kind of counter wrestling clinic thing. And, um, and there was stuff that I had never even thought of before, you know, um, still learning all the time as a wrestler. And he, we were cracking up. He called us his little bitches and, you know, cause we're all so tiny, but, um, yeah, it's a great team. It's a big, big team, great team. I feel like, um, now I've been there since July. I think right about now I'm starting to, to, it's starting to feel a lot more like family. You know, you come onto a new team, like they're just kind of like, who are you? And, um, and I'm kind of socially awkward as it is. Um, so. I wouldn't have guessed that. You seem pretty, I don't know. That's just my, my opinion. I've interviewed you before. You seem pretty good. So Yeah, I think um, I'm like a, I have, I'm an introvert but with extroverted qualities. So I think I okay. can I can the dog and pony show when I need to um, and kind of just pull in the confidence. But when it comes to like interpersonal relationships, I'm actually kind of awkward. It's, it's really funny because <laughs> I try not to be – awkward and then it ends up being more awkward <laughs> okay that's fine how did you how did that even get set up with you going to train an alliance what's sort of the connection there um well i had a, a couple different um options i put my feelers out originally i was going to go with timo yama um in irvine okay and um my management agencies up there and there's a lot of fighters up there and and just in general um oyama uh is a really good gym um but uh, when I finally moved down here, I realized how hard it was going to be financially. And um, Alliance was one of the main gyms that I was also looking into. That's actually uh, my original coach, um, Chris Holiday. That's where he learned everything. So that's where he got his passion. It's almost like on the training spectrum, like Alliance was almost like my grandfather, I guess. Okay. Because uh, a lot of the training that I received was from coaches that had taught my coach from Alliance. So, um, and then I had, I had spent, um, there's a couple times that where I had, I had been in camps and I would come down to visit family down here because I'm fr- from here originally. Right. And, um, I'd check out Alliance for one or two weeks and, and, you know, it's a great, it's a great camp. And then, um, so I wanted to move back home and, or Southern California, at least, you know, I was ready for some good weather. Um, Oregon gets kind of crazy up there, but little wet, little snowy, and then sometimes scorching hot. It's it's kind of funny, but um, once I got down here, I just kind of made a last-minute decision. I was like, you know, and I, I called up Eric Del Fiero, and I was like, you know, you still got room for me? And he's like, of course, you know, and um, it's been really fun. It's been exciting. I've been able to reconnect with a lot of my old friends and, and kind of um, just make San Diego my home again. Awesome. How do you see this fight playing out on March 23rd? Um, it's always a hard one to answer because there's so many different scenarios I go through, um, thinking about it. I just feel, I feel like my raw power and strength is ultimately going to overcome Kay Hansen. And I feel like it might be on the feet, it might be against the cage, um, 
he might be on the ground, but I do, I definitely foresee blood, and um, I'm, I'm going to say it's a TKO, maybe second round. Nice. I like I'll that. Do- um, are, are you looking for a quick turnaround after this, just with the fact you had the layoff, or do you want to just sort of see how this fight goes and sort of game plan after that? Um, I, th- I would like to stay active um, for several reasons, but the biggest thing weighing down on me right now is um, whether or not I want to stay a straw weight because okay. of the vast amount of weight that I have to cut. Um, it's something that I have talked to with um, – my managers and my coaches and, you know, cause I walk around at about 140, 145 oh, wow. and it okay. takes me. Yeah. So I started this camp, I think maybe 143, 145. Um, so it took me six weeks. I lost 15 pounds. I'm down to well 129. I don't know what the math is on that, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. So <laughs> fair enough. Yes. I can understand. Yeah. So, um, it's that's a pretty big cut in itself, and then I still have another 15 pounds to go. So um, I don't know. I know my my bachelor's degree is actually in health and physical education, so I have a, a pretty good understanding of what's happening to my body right now. And um, I know I can do it, and I know I can fight, and I know at the end of the day it's going to be okay. But I I'm more concerned of, of the long term effect right. that's going to have on my body, and then. Um, the older I get, the harder it's going to be, you know, I'm coming up on 30, unfortunately. So, um, these are all things that, that I'm kind of toying with. I'm thinking about going to 125. Um, in May, I'm going to go do a submission grappling tournament up in Bend, uh, May 19th, um, just nice. to, to stay fresh with that. I haven't done a grappling tournament. I don't need, oh gosh. Well, if you don't count, I don't count wrestling, but right. I mean, even I haven't done a wrestling tournament in, you know, one or two years now. So that's something I kind of wanted to do, um, and I think I think we were talking about fighting again in May. But uh, as far as turning around again and, and making 115 again, um, it really just depends on how I feel after this cut. Because um, maybe I'm just being a baby. Who knows? Okay, fair. But it just seems like it seems like every time I do this, I'm like, I don't want to do this. I can't do this. And then I get there, I'm like, this is totally worth it. But then I forget about that, and then it comes comes back to cutting and stuff, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see with that, but I definitely want to stay active. Um, want to knock another two fights out, at least by midsummer. Awesome. Well, uh, f- first up is uh, Invicta FC 28. It's coming up here on March 23rd, live on UFC Fight Pass. Uh, Cal, it was uh, great getting a chance to talk to you, and I'm glad the, the move has gone well uh, back to San Diego. Uh, just to remind people where they can get a hold of you on social media, and if you've got any sponsors or shout-outs, the floor is yours. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Fighter Alias, um, um, Iridium, my management agency for everything that they've done for me um, from day one. I gotta give a shout out to Alliance because they've 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 turned me. It's inc- I can't wait for you guys to see what they've done to me. Um, Goliath Tactical, um, and we have Left Coast Fight Gear. Um, those are some guys and um, people that have been with me since day one. So I always gotta send them love out. Um, I am on, um, what do you call it, Instagram, uh, Instagram, uh, 50 Cal Holiday, 50 Cal Holiday, two L's in Holiday, all letters, and then I'm also on Snapchat, um, my user is Calwine, K-A-L-W-H-I-N-E, um, but I'll probably be, if you want to see what it's like for me to go through this cut, this 15 pound weight cut, I would suggest watching my Instagram story, because I'm going to, I'm going to definitely show you how how it goes down i'm going to be losing about a pound a day starting sunday and then um if you want to see what it looks like for somebody to lose 10 pounds in one day when i cut the water um it's it's a it's an interesting thing and i suggest that that you get some insight on what it's like to be a fighter 